Hi, my name's Steve Tarrant. In 2011, I bought my first ever mobility scooter and enjoyed it so much that I told the company so. The company then researched who I was, found out I was involved in motorsports, and then invited me to a unique challenge to see how far a scooter could be ridden in a 24 hour period. So in June 2012, I did the 24 hour challenge, did 174 and a half miles, but sadly, due to a small technicality on the various drawings, I wasn't able to claim that as a Guinness World Record. On the 17th and 18th of May, I will be going to Goodwood with my mobility scooter to attempt the furthest distance covered in a 24 hour period on a mobility scooter. The current record stands at 154 miles and it's my belief that I could achieve a record distance of approximately 200 miles within that period. Since the accident, I have basically had to confront a lot of changes in my life, both personal and physical, and therefore to do something that somebody else has never done before, or to push yourself to see how far you can go, has very much been the drive of my recovery and the drive of where my life is now. Right, today's the day. Tonight, today I'll be challenging for the uh, Guinness World Record for the furthest distance on a mobility scooter in a 24 hour period. Yes, well basically all week I've been pretty excited about it. Uh, I've been lucky to do various press, TV and radio interviews to do with what it's about, what we're doing, the charity that we are supporting as in Macmillan. And basically it's all been quite exciting. Now it's really kicking in that in a few hours time we'll actually be doing the real thing for life and uh, going for it so therefore it's very much more the nerves are just starting to kick in. This will be placed on the rear um, wheels. Steve so will drive over it, puntering with two four and a half yeah. mil and we can nails. That out. And yeah. on the front we will use a three and a half mil yeah, bradle and there will be instant sealed by the puncture repair. It's not too bad. Oh, it now half past two in the morning. A um, bit nippy in the air, so I'm glad of a good hot drink to keep me going. Um, the ride is fine. Um, I'm getting better battery life than I anticipated. Two and a half hours a set now, so and the pace it's on schedule. So with everything is going good. Pretty much, it's one of those things that, as the drivers say, that you're in the zone. You're just concentrating on what you're doing. Hit your marks getting around as quick as possible and hope the clock runs down as well. OK, 
Take it in, or off we go. Definitely got a bit nippy the last hour or so, and I'm glad I've got the layers on that I've got. Um, now we've got daylight, I can see the corners, and no doubt I can probably go more flat out again. So uh, we survived the dark. say that it would be daybreak if I'm gonna have an incident. <laughs> well the thing is I'm having to line up for the barrier in order to get yeah. around the corner. Yeah. Only I didn't veer away that time. <laughs> <laughs> Brian didn't register turn away. Right you work everyone up so I don't know. Including myself. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I think this is my last attempt at this distance. <laughs> Quarter 11, we're eight hours left to go. Uh, checking the tyres on the pit stop. Here's the hill, the original puncture. Steve? I'll let you know in about three days' time. <laughs> Fair enough. Total number of laps 1,833. Total distance in miles 190.208557. Shattered. <laughs> Elated, happy, and shattered. Um, obviously, put a lot in, and it's going to take a while to sink in for the numb bits to come back to life, the bits that hurt to not hurt, and then obviously to document it, get it to Guinness, and get it ratified. That's the final leg. And when I get that certificate, I know nobody can take it away from me. I've been that close before. I now need to make sure it is certain 100% before I finally, finally say it's mine. What sort of things were you thinking in that sort of last hour and a half stint that you had? Yeah. Basically, every yard I do, 
is one more yard that somebody's going to think perhaps I won't go for the record, it's too far. So you never know that if I get granted it, it would be one of those that may stand for a while. Um, we'll just wait and see.